This video is designed for an athlete who is recovering from a lower extremity injury. Based on genteel taxonomy, the athlete's goal will be able to perform a 2D task, which is to jump rope while moving forward while crisscrossing the jump rope. To begin this task, the athlete will perform a 1A task. The 1A task is to jump up and down in place without the jump rope. To make this task more difficult, the athlete will jump up and down in place on one foot. To make this task even more difficult, the athlete will perform the task with their eyes closed on one foot. In order for the athlete to advance to the next task, the athlete must be able to perform this task for at least 30 seconds without fatigue in order to advance to a 1B task. The 1B task is to, to jump rope in place with the rope. To make the task more difficult, the athlete will perform the same task by jumping rope backwards. In order for the athlete to advance to the next task, the athlete must be, be able to perform this task for one minute without getting fatigued. The athlete can then move on to perform a 1C task. The 1C task is to jump forward without the jump rope to a set distance and to turn around and come back. To make this task more difficult, the athlete will jump rope while moving forward with their eyes closed and turn around and come back. In order for the athlete to advance to the next task, the athlete must be able to perform this task for one minute without getting fatigued. The athlete can then move on to perform a 1D task. The 1D task is the jump rope while moving forward. To make the task more difficult, the athlete will perform the same task while jumping rope moving forward on one foot. Once the athlete can perform this task three times without getting fatigued, the athlete can advance to a 2B task. The 2B task is to jump rope in place while crisscrossing the jump rope. To make this task more difficult, the athlete will crisscross with the jump rope while their eyes are closed. In order for the athlete to advance to the next task, the athlete must be able to perform this task for at least 30 seconds without fatigue in order to advance to a 2D. The 2D task is the jump rope while moving forward while crisscrossing the jump rope. To make this task more difficult, the athlete will jump rope while moving forward while crisscrossing the jump rope with their eyes closed. Once the athlete has successfully performed tasks 1A through 2D, the athlete should be able to jump rope forward while crisscrossing the rope in a rehabilitation clinic.